care of special populations. A reference is Saunders' comprehensive review for the NCLEX RN examination by Linda Ann Silvestri and Angela E. Silvestri. Here are the special groups that would most commonly be encountered in the healthcare environment and require sensitivity regarding their healthcare needs. So these are racial and ethnic minorities, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, questioning individuals, homeless, socioeconomically disadvantaged individuals and families, intellectually disabled individuals, battered individuals and victims of abuse or neglect, single parents, foster children, individuals with mental illness, older adults, military veterans, prisoners, immigrants and refugees, individuals with chronic illness. Vulnerable groups typically experience health disparities and inequalities and include people of color, those who are uninsured, those living in poverty or homeless, those with chronic illness or disabilities, immigrants, refugees, those with limited English proficiency, those who are incarcerated and members of the LGBTQ, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, or questioning community. A comprehensive nursing assessment is needed in order to plan care for these groups. Healthcare providers, self-awareness of their own culture, values, beliefs, ethics, personality, and communication style promotes optimal health outcomes for clients of diverse cultures, recognizing one's own biases or prejudices and being respectful to all people despite differences can influence satisfaction of care. An encounter with a client should elicit the client's unique perspectives based on their cultural preferences because it will allow the nurse to understand what healthcare treatment will be realistic and acceptable. So initially, introduce self and describe your role. I am Joey, I am a nurse. I would like you to ask some questions so that we have information about your individualized needs. Do I have your permission to ask you some questions? Then proceed to the general background questions. Are you comfortable talking to me? What name would you like us to use to address you? Do you feel you are able to adequately answer questions regarding your health? What is your age? Is there a specific gender in which you identify yourself with? What is your ethnicity? What is your primary language spoken? Do you understand and speak English? In which language do you wish to communicate? Do you need an interpreter? Do you have any cultural, religious, or spiritual preferences you would like us to consider in your plan of care? Do you have any dietary preferences that you would like us to include in your plan of care? Describe your eating patterns in a 24-hour period. Do you exercise? What do you do and how often? Do you use any remedies when you are sick? What is your living situation? Where do you live? Who do you live with? Do you have children? Do you have a support system? Would you like to name a support person or emergency contact person? Do you have access to financial resources needed to live? Do you have health insurance? Do you feel safe at home or where you live? Have you been abused within the last 12 months? Do you encounter crime or violence in your life? Is anyone hurting you physically or emotionally or in any other way? Have you ever or are you being bullied? Do you smoke, drink alcohol, or use any type of drug? Do you have or need a healthcare proxy? Do you have an advanced directive? If not, 
Would you like more information about this? When was the last time you sought health care? For what reason? Do you have any fears about seeing your provider? Do you currently or have you ever had a communicable disease? Have you traveled outside of the country recently? Do you have a history of mental illness? Have you ever had feelings of committing suicide? Are you a veteran or member of the military? Do you have any chronic long-term illness, disability, or other past medical history? Have you ever been incarcerated? Are you an immigrant or refugee? Questions based on living situation. Do you have a home? Do you live alone? Who do you live with at home? Do you drink alcohol? Any other type of drug use? Have you been exposed to environmental irritants? Have you had problems with asthma, anemia, lead exposure, ear infections, gastrointestinal illness, or mental illness? Are you willing to follow up on your healthcare recommendations if given the necessary resources? Questions based on financial status and access to resources. What is your education level? What is your income? Do you have family or, or you are in contact with? Is anyone in your immediate family disabled? Do you have a support system? Do you live in a safe community? Do you seek health care on a routine basis? Are you willing to work with a social worker to increase your access to community resources? Questions based on health insurance coverage. What health insurance do you have? Do you have the financial means to pay for your health care? Are you willing to work with a social worker to seek health coverage? Questions related to abuse. Do you have or have you had any bruises, sprains, broken bones, fatigue, shortness of breath, muscle tension, involuntary shaking, changes in eating or sleeping, sexual dysfunction or fertility problems? Do you experience nightmares, anxiety, uncontrollable thoughts, depression, or low self-esteem? Do you have anxiety or depression felt suicidal? Do you ever feel hopeless, worthless, apprehensive, discouraged, lack motivation, lack faith, or question your trust for others? If a child, do you have any problems at school? Are you bullied? Questions based on racial or ethnic background. Are there any resources you need to ensure your ability to follow up on your health care recommendations? Do you have any past medical history or family history of chronic diseases such as diabetes mellitus, hypertension, heart disease, stroke, cancer, renal or kidney disease, injuries or accidents, depression or anxiety? Questions based on gender and sexual orientation. Can you describe your sexual orientation preferences? Which pronoun would you like to be referred to by? He, she, other. Do you seek regular and routine health care? When were you last seen? When was your last breast exam, mammogram, pap smear, testicular exam, prostate exam? Do you do a breast self-examination or a testicular self-examination? Do you have any past medical history? Are you sexually active? If so, how many partners do you have? Do you have any difficulties with eating or maintaining a stable weight? Do you smoke, drink alcohol, or use any other type of drugs? Do you ever feel suicidal? If so, do you have a plan? Do you have any problems with depression or anxiety? Have you ever felt suicidal? Do you take hormone therapy? Are you up to date on your immunizations? Do you have children? If not, do you wish to or plan on having children? Do you feel you have access to necessary resources such as health care or other benefits? 
Questions related to mental illness. Do you seek routine health care? Describe your eating habits in a 24-hour period. Describe your activity level. Do you have any past medical history? Do you take any medications? If so, do you experience any side effects? Do you smoke, drink, or use any other type of drugs? Do you experience depression or anxiety? Have you ever had thoughts of suicide? Are you sexually active? If so, do you employ safe sex practices? How many partners do you have? Questions related to veteran or military status. Do you have any problems with mental illness, such as post-traumatic stress disorder? Have you had any traumatic brain injuries? Have you had any injuries? Describe your living situation. Are you interested in any community support groups? Questions related to incarceration. Have you ever been a victim of abuse or rape? Do you have any past medical history, particularly asthma, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, heart disease, mental illness, or communicable diseases? Questions related to immigration. Do you have problems with mental illness? Are you able to speak English? Do you have access to resources such as housing, transportation, healthcare, education services? Do you have any past medical history such as accidents, injuries, hypothermia, gastrointestinal illness, heart problems, pregnancy complications, diabetes, hypertension, malnutrition, or infectious or communicable disease? Questions related to chronic illness. Do you have access to a primary health care provider? Do you see a specialist on a regular basis? Are you able to follow up on the recommendations made by your primary health care provider and or specialist? And lastly, is there anything else you would like to share regarding your ability to maintain your health or any other issue or concern?